We're ready. Fam, I've been killing it in the kitchen. IMO. I've been too generous in posting my videos just on Instagram and I thought, what about my fam on Hello Honey? So I decided that I have to bring one of my favorite recipes to you. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make my killer cauliflower mashed potatoes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hello, honey. Thank you, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. So I'm not sure if many of you know this, but no matter how healthy your diet is, it's almost impossible to get all the vitamins and nutrients that you need. But Ritual definitely helps with that. In this bottle here, there are no shady ingredients, and these two capsules here help fill the gaps in my diet. I learned about Ritual when I was doing my podcast, Listen Honey, and at that moment, I had gone to the doctor's appointment and they actually said that I was low in vitamin D and iron, which is crazy because I take supplements to work out and I also eat a pretty good diet, so I couldn't believe that I was actually missing something. I wanna take care of my body so it takes care of me later on, so I was so glad to find Ritual, especially when it's easy to take. I'm always on the go, so I really don't know if I have a full stomach when I remember to take my vitamin, and it's good to know that this is very gentle on your system so you can have it at any time of the day. And Ritual is gluten-free, vegan certified, non-GMO, sugar-free, and allergen-free. Ta-da! They offer a subscription, which means that you can get Ritual delivered straight to your house on a monthly basis, so you never have to remember to go and pick it up. The Ritual team has been so generous to offer a 10% discount for the next three months for you. So all you gotta do is go to ritual.com slash honey and use my code honey and get 10% off your first three months. Every time I'm cooking on Hello Honey, it hurts me to say this. It's always Mama Mai that's cooking, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? It is. It's always her cooking, and she's always stealing the show. Whatever. But to be honest, I love cooking. I just don't, no, 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 no. I don't love cooking. I'm great at cooking. I just don't love cooking by myself. So now that I have somebody to cook for, I force him to eat all my things, and then there I can see what works and what doesn't work, and then I present it on Instagram. The last items that I cooked on Instagram were so much fun. It was the cucumber salad and the tickle my pickle saute, and they did so well. This is a recipe that's super easy, and I know everybody's trying to get into their summer bods, so I wanted to show you something that was keto-friendly, low-carb, and uber-nutritious. It is my killer cauliflower mashed potatoes. Ooh, wait. Mashed potatoes are one of my favorite side dishes, and I love the ones from KFC. I love that little, like, scoop of gravy that they put inside of it. I love the butter, the salt and pepper, but of course it's super unhealthy and I miss it. So I had to figure out a way to make fluffy mashed potatoes so that my man can enjoy it, I can enjoy it, and so can you. So here goes, it's very easy. Also, just so you know, Paul is over here on my computer on the sidelines cheering me on, but also getting the best angle. Let me know if I need to suck in my fupa. You look great. Okay. What you need for your killer cauliflower mash is cauliflower, garlic, salt and pepper, heavy whipping cream or cream cheese, and some Romano cheese. Have you ever learned how to cut one of these things? It's so easy. Think of it like a bouquet of flowers because beneath the cauliflower florets, which are the top parts, are stems that you want to separate them from. See, like this, honey. How the average person would do it is they would cut the florets and then discard the stem, but not a Vietnamese person and certainly not Mama Mai. Start with the florets here, like so. I can hear her from the sidelines yelling at me for throwing this away, by the way, but I've never cooked the cauliflower leaves, so I don't want to make my smell weird. Jay is, um... He's a pescatarian, so he only eats seafood and he stays on a low carb diet. Lucky for him, he has me. While you're cutting your cauliflower, put it into a, what is this? Corey, what a, whatever this thing is called. Let me just clean up my kitchen a little bit. Before I move on to the next ingredients, I want to use this time to steam the cauliflower because we only need it to be steamed for 10 minutes. Fill this pot with about a quarter inch of water. 
<laughs> so fill up the pot with about a quarter inch of water. Then you're going to get one of these collapsible steamers and place it inside. <laughs> this is this is Jay's work kitchen. It's like a studio and it's very clear that he also is a poser cook. I need to rinse this off. Oh my god. See in there. See honey. I like cleaning it after I've cut it because you can get inside the fibers better. Stop looking at me, Paul! Mess. Oh my god, looking at this cauliflower makes me miss Mama Mai because she makes pickled cauliflower and it's so good. And she snacks on it all day. There we go. 10 minutes. Let's get back to chopping over here. So my killer cauliflower calls for four cloves of garlic. Can you say that three times fast? My killer cauliflower calls for four cloves of garlic. My killer cauliflower calls for four cloves of garlic. My killer cauliflower calls for four cloves of garlic. <laughs> I'm gonna do two whole heads of garlic because I love garlic and so does Jay. And it helps when both you guys are eating garlic, then you both can stank together. Eh. Just cut the garlic down the center, pop out the cloves and just start crushing them. Now, Mama Mai cooks with the skin of garlic. I think that's nasty. I don't like it, because then you have to keep picking it out. I just crush the garlic, and then the skin pops off itself. Oh my god, I love garlic. Do you like garlic, Paul? Have you seen Chrissy Teigen's recipe for fried ribs that calls for 40 cloves of garlic? Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I have a funny story about Chrissy Teigen. So, one time we were talking about cooking. Me talking with her about cooking, go figure. So I was telling her about kelp noodles. This was like five years ago. It's zero calories and it tastes exactly like a noodle, like a glass noodle. And she was like, shut up, that sounds amazing. And I was like, I'll drop some off for you. So I came by her house and I brought some kelp noodle and, and dropped it off for her. She was like, thank you so much. She texted me like, I don't know, a couple days later after she opened the kelp noodle, she was like, ew, this is Nasty! What the hell is this? It smells like And I was like, what is she talking about? And I realized that when you open a bag of kelp noodle, all my Asian people out there, you know what I'm talking about. Kelp noodles have a really funky smell. It's because, I think it's because it's a seaweed that it gets stored in its like original state, so it smells like fish. But she was so nastied out. Chrissy, I can earn your love back, I promise. I need to try this 40 cloves of garlic fried ribs of yours because that sounds delicious. All right, here we go. I don't have 40 cloves, but I have one, two, three, 30, 40, 50, 50, 40, 40, 40, 25 cloves of garlic in Jeannie Mai's Killer Cauliflower Mashed Potatoes. Oh, I love that crunch so much. You know what, let's just crush all of them and then pick out the skin later. Now normally I would slice and dice these garlics, but you don't have to because we're just gonna put it right in the pot and it's gonna go into a blender. So can you click on that link again? Did you cut yourself? No. Okay, wait, they say don't connect the, the... Oh, wait, hold on. Remember that link I sent you? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna send you the number. Enter that number. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I put it, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. You see that one? Just click on join the damn meeting. I did. Hurry up, mom, your daughter's cooking. You're missing everything. Can you enter the meeting? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I put joy, I put joy. Ah. Mom, mom, mom. Mom, you got yourself to this country and you can't work the Zoom? So shady. <sighs> Hurry up. See if I can join. My... Can, I can hear yes. you now. Yes, yes. But I think I'm older. Wait, but I didn't see Ginny. See, oh yeah, I see Ginny now. I saw her boot right there. Clean your camera, mom. Okay, I will. I will. My gosh. Okay, I've been ready. What the hell? Hold on. Okay, what do you want me to do now? Mom, do you know what mashed potatoes are? Yes, mashed potato, I know, I will eat mashed potato. For Jay, I'm making cauliflower mashed potato. You want to copy for me? My steamed cauliflower. Ooh. Right. 25 
cloves of garlic. So are you ready to watch me? I'm an Eva. Where is Paul? I'm here, he, Mama. He I'm, just, I'm just watching. Like this way better? No, that's way too small. If you if you can see better this way, that's fine. I see all of you. I see your big face. I saw her stomach, and I see my face. I can't believe it. She lived with me for how many years? Never cooked once for me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I tell you a secret? I'm gonna say this from far away so you don't hit me. Secretly, Mom, I do know how to cook, but I pretend that I don't cook. <laughs> cook good things so that I don't have to cook. What a liar, I cannot believe you. That's terrible, my daughter. Hey, I don't like my reading glasses. Like that. Let me go get another glass. Mom, stay there. Who cares about your glasses? It's not about you. Watch me cook. You want to record it. They're going to see my face. Mom, nobody cares about your face. They're looking at my recipe. Paul, do they see my face, Paul? No. We may a little bit, but that's okay. No. Mama, you're beautiful no matter what. Don't lie to her. I'm just kidding. No, it's okay. Yes, I just turned around and checked it. Just stay right there. See where you are. Hurry up. You're going to make my garlic get old. See, I told you. Very fine. <laughs> okay, Mom, do you see all the garlic I cooked? Yeah, you chopped the garlic. Yeah, sit here watching your garlic. <laughs> Whatever. Then I'm going to cut a few onions for a garnish later on. So you just want to chop a few of these. I don't really love onions and chives, but I know that it adds good flavor. Kind of gives you more flavor. I'm not talking, please. It gives you a baked potato flavor. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. Cut. Okay. Oh my gosh, she weighs a lot of onion right Can I tell I you the secret, Mom? Can I tell you a secret? Let me show you something. Mom. Earlier, I had cauliflower, but I threw it away in the trash. Why? I want to show no, you. but I told you to throw the outside, but you, you can use the inside. Don't waste it. That's no, yeah, you cut, you cut the outside. No, not all. You cut the outside, the color black. You cut it. You cut it. You cut it. You throw it, but the inside, you still <sighs> use it. You waste it. Why you let me see this video? Good thing for you. I'm not using old cauliflower today. Me more mad when you throw a thing like that. We can use it. Mama, I don't waste anything. Now I'm going to make garlic infused olive oil to put into my garlic mashed potatoes, okay? So I'm going to start off with a good serving of olive oil. Now my oil is popping. It burned already. No, it's not. <laughs> now I'm just going to let the garlic burn down a little bit so it gets a nice caramelized edge. Good, huh, Mom? Yeah. I can smell over here. Aren't you impressed, Mom? Until I eat, so I can tell. Nobody's gonna judge your eating, Mom, just like you judge the chili cook-off. <laughs> you still remember that, huh? Mom, look how cute my butt looks in this jumpsuit. Yeah, that's really sexy. Ever. I don't know the people watching you, they watch your body, or you watch you when you're cooking. I don't even know. <laughs> Whatever. Hurry up! While we're waiting for that, I'm going to start loading up the cauliflower. And it's a little tender to the touch. It's semi-soft and semi-firm. On the way down. Didn't the pressure down? Mom, just let me do it. You make me, my eyes feel itchy. <sighs> Would you cut it smaller, Mama? Yeah, cut smaller. <laughs> let me see how she do it. Now I'm going to blend and blend and blend so it all kind of like, you know, chops down the knife in the bottom and then the top the, the food on the top let me see. whatever she's as smart as she looks guys wash it don't throw it away wash it no Okay, so it needs a little liquid. Put it out, put it out, all of them. Now you learn it. Now I want you to look at this delicious garlic I made. It's good, that's good. And we're gonna put this in. The thing? Yep, and a little bit of heavy whipping cream just to moisten and give it a creamy texture. Did that look lumpy? Oh no, it's still good. Okay. It seems to be a little stuck. Mama, where's your mole? More liquid. 
No, you have to make it upside down, inside out, whatever. I'm gonna use that trusty chopstick to stir it up on the bottom. Oh my goodness. What? Put more. You don't have to do that. You turn on the machine, make it go longer. That's what you need the machine for. Turn it on, turn on. Oh, guys, it's perfect. Why I'm here for? I'm going to add some salt and pepper. First of all, you put the meal on the bowl. You put salt and you put pepper, you put in the onion, garlic on the meal, whatever, and then you throw there one time and then you mix it up. That's how you're supposed to do. And then I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. Powdered cheese? Grated Parmesan cheese. You better cut this out, Paul. You put everything one time. But if you keep doing again, 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 later, you go, go, whatever. Why is it closing? Who's gonna watch your cooking show? I'm stupid. I sit here for how many hours? And look at her, look at her. She's getting me closer. Oh. The more she do it later, I'm mushy. I'll say mushy. Mushy. Yeah, mushy. What is she saying? Nothing. Nothing. I see that. Yeah, mushy already. Oh my God, you guys have to see this. Look at this. Okay. Creamy. Look at that. Can I tell something here? You can take the onion, whatever. You got it, you put it on the top. Duh! Whatever. Now, for presentation, you're going to take some of your scallions that you've chopped, and then you're gonna take some of your delicious crispy garlic, put that on top. Ta-da! Yeah, look very beautiful. This recipe, I gotta give credit to my girl, Marie in Atlanta. Marie, thank you so much for suggesting cauliflower mash. So good. <laughs> I'm happy wow. for you. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. I'm serious. Good, I'm happy for you, but don't want to buy mama mine. Because I don't eat American food. Thank you. Don't forget to surprise! And thank you so much, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. Comment below how delicious your cauliflower mashed potatoes are. That's what I'm gonna be on Hello Honey Show. <laughs>